Are you going to say the welcome or am I? No, you go ahead. Welcome, everyone, to the Queen. And I kick back and enjoy some light talk about baby puppies. I might be wacky, but I want to play. I'm your best friend, you can get away. I deserve a treat, cause I'm a fluffy babe. I got hair, shaking the air, doggy by the day. <laughs> because I'm happy. Rock alone if you feel like your master loves you. Because I'm Rock alone if you feel like your tail is chasing you. Because I'm happy. Hold along if you want to cuddle from me to you. Dog around if you think you're my best friend too. Come stay down, K9. Come stay down, my bark is too high. Come stay down, K9. Come stay down, I shake cause I'm happy. Dog alone if you feel like your master loves you. Dog alone if you feel like your tail is chasing you. How long if you want to cuddle from me to you? Because I'm a dog around if you think you're my best friend too. Come play now, K9. Come play now, my bark is too high. Come stay down, K9. Come stay down, I shake. Because I'm not alone if you feel like your master loves you. Break along if you feel like your tail is chasing you. Because I'm happy. Hold along if you want to cuddle from me to you. Hey, hey, hey. around if you think you're my best friend too. Howdy, Queen. I don't care how many times I hear that song. It always makes me happy. <laughs> That, like it's yeah. a song. I mean, you can listen to that song or the other rendition, whichever. You cannot listen to that song and not kind of groove, you know, to your own. Oh, music. yeah. I got to turn these up a little bit. I can't. Um, there we go. Let me tell you something. These headphones, what are these called? What are these? Headphones. All right. These headphones that I'm using feels like I'm fixing to control airplanes coming in <laughs> or work at McDonald's. Yeah. Hey, you want cheese on that? Yeah, these things are ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But hey, we're going to rock it tonight. So do you want to swap me? You can have the earbuds. No, I've already got these things on my head. So we'll just I, we'll just leave it as So what's end. happening in the Queen's world today? Any advice you want to give us losers? Hmm. <laughs> I'm talking about me and Upstate. Let me see. The best thing I can say is you're too blessed to be stressed about nonsense. Exactly. There you go. That's that, true. Hey, that is a <laughs> but you know, that is one of the hardest things in the world is to do. It's not well, sweat, it's to not sweat the big little stuff. Well, here's the thing. Let's let's just get into this for a moment. Um, no matter what happens in life, you know, just roll with it, man. Just roll with it. Because it, it ain't going to do no good to do anything else. So just roll with it. Just realize what it is and just roll with it. Now, with that being said, is another storm coming through? Yep. I need to tell you what. Today, <laughs> when it started raining, oh, I thought, oh, it's just going to be a simple little thunderstorm. No biggie. Uh, you know. And it kind of monsoon is what it felt like. I mean, water rushing, pouring, can't drive, have to pull over to the side of the road, hail the size of a half dollar. I mean, come on, man. Look. How did we not know this was going to happen? I was awake at 8.30, 8.45 this morning. Right. By I bingo, slapping me in the face for one. That's my girl. So okay. she wanted to go outside. I took her outside. The sun was shining. The birds were singing. The light was shining. I thought, dang, man, the wind wasn't blowing. 
first thing that entered my mind, I'm riding a bike to go get princess. I go in. 20 minutes later, it's black. I know. That was just crazy. Trees I mean, getting twisted. Squirrels we, flying through the air. We have not had a good storm like that in a while. And I think I've seen a chicken. <laughs> and yeah, probably so. Probably. Bell, welcome, sir. F the cops, man. Hello. All of you guys, Cheryl, sis. I'm sorry I didn't grab the, the thing here. And, and Angie, welcome in. Y'all just have to say thing. <laughs> Hey, 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 I'm here because I get to read in the chat and then I forget where I'm at. I've said that before. Hello, Bill. Oh, yes, Cheryl. It's good to see you too. What all has been going on with everybody? What is, how was your day? Everybody's been mm -hmm. chilling and I don't know. Well, I don't know. Now, I'll say this that all week long, I have been thinking, I've been off with my days. I thought like when it was Tuesday, I thought it was Wednesday. When it was Monday, I thought it was Tuesday. So it's just been a long, a long week. Has anybody else had a long week like that? Where you're just, you're just done. You're just over it. You know? Uh oh, he's messing with the sounds. He's not paying me any mind. Oh yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. Are you? Yeah. <clears throat> Trying to Make that sweet voice just a little sweeter. Oh, dear. See, he's trying to fluff, fluff me. Let me tell you something. Today, he called me and he said, I just want to call and say I love you. <laughs> hope you're having a good day. And I thought to myself, I wonder what he's up to. What did he do? What did he tear up? What did he throw away by accident? What did he do to the washing machine? <laughs> you know, all of those things. But I appreciate it. It lifted me up today. Thank you. I was Thank worried you. it's storming. You know, and another thing. Oh, Angie says yes. It has been, it's been one heck of a week. Nothing really bad has happened this week, but man, what a week! It just seems like that it was the weekend not too long ago, and now we're fixing to go into fabulous Friday. Friday is what I like to call it. We like to call it Fry Bread Friday. Ooh, mercy! Here at the, the Cherokee Nation. Hey, do you, have, has anybody out there had um, any fry bread? Let me read the chat. Hold on, I'm reading. Hey, the most predominantly white people. Now, is yes, I believe, people was in I, I believe that. They all run together. Yes, Cheryl. I'm always oh, sleep 12 hours. Oh, tell God. Dang it. I, I, we are praying that you are healed and that everything turns around. And that God blesses you. Amen. I know He can heal. I do know that. <coughs> um, yeah, it's it's just been a week. I'm ready for the weekend. I don't care if it's cold. I don't care if it's hot. I don't care if it's raining. I'm going to enjoy the weekend. There you go. No matter what happens. That's what I'm you got to do. I am ready to do it. Is there any new comments? Is that yes, Cheryl? God has He's got you. Yep. We're lifting you up in prayer. And, I know that other people that see or listen to this channel, they too are praying as well. So we know you, you got this. God's got it. It's going to be all right. Now, for this week, is there anything big that has happened with you? Is there anything that we just cannot believe? Um, I gained three pounds. <laughs> you sound better now that your your tooth is your tooth. <laughs> yeah, since it's the swelling went down, I still need to go. And get it yanked. Now let's talk about this, folks, for a minute. <clears throat> he needs to go to the dentist. Yeah. That's bar none, shelling it down. You need to go to the dentist. You know how many and times he, I've been to the dentist in my life? He has probably once. No, I've <laughs> been several times when I was a child, but um, once it was made my decision. No, thank you. Now, okay, so let's talk about this whole tooth business. Um, Whenever I was a kiddo, um, well, I wasn't a kid. I was, you know, 18. 17. That was just a few years ago. Oh, heavens. No, it wasn't. Um, I got my wisdom teeth taken out. Oh, yeah. And I was put out. That for explains that. a lot. I know. I know. I don't. What do you mean by that? Nothing. Hmm. Anyways, anyways. So I had my wisdom teeth. I had two cut and two pulled. 
And of course, they gave me the sedative or whatever. So I didn't really feel anything. This time last year, I my tooth broke into and they had to go in and pull it out. Oh my goodness. I thought that they were taking out my entire set of teeth. It hurt so bad. Yeah, yeah. And the pressure, oh my goodness. I said never again. Never again. It hurts so bad. So you though, I can't wait. He he has been to the dentist. Hold no, on. Listen, he's not he's been to the dentist not once, not twice, three times this week, and he has not gotten to be seen because he didn't get there in time or whatever. Yeah. So now well, I have to go into the walk here. You got to go to the dentist. I'm thinking about going to a white one. Screw the Native American dentistry people. Well, you're going to have to do something. I mean, yeah. and you know. what I mean by a white one is an old boy that runs a ranch down here that does dentistry for horses. Oh, heavens. Could you imagine? Uh -uh. He has I'm, gas. I am. I'm too much of a sissy for that. I, oh, need, he has gas. I need medication. I need something that's going to help me through the process because oh. I don't like pain. <clears throat> I cannot tolerate pain. I can to a certain point. And then once we're there, mm -mm, you might as well just stop. Let's see. Let me read the comments because you're you're reading right. something. Yeah, everything. Uh, ooh. Yes, I want laughing gas. I've never had it. I want it. I want to try it out. That is. Uh, I was reading the comments. I'm sorry. What did you say? I'm reading the comment. Um. Okay. Are you? Yes, are Cheryl, you? that is correct. Did you read what Cheryl said? Yes. Ask for laughing gas. Your heart. It needs to be done. Yeah. Um, yes, Cheryl, I agree. But you know how what we're dealing with here. Right. What? They already know. I Since I have come upon the scene and I have, you know, <laughs> the yoke, they know. They know what's up. They know. Oh, right, ladies no. and gentlemen? How do you feel? Yes, that is true. Whenever they done my tooth, I'm telling you, I was like, please, deaden it. I don't want to feel it. And so I probably needed the gas because when he pulled it, I mean, I you just feel it oh, pressure. And even thinking about it, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I could do that again. I just have to let my tooth fall out. I would, I, I can't take That's it. what I'm trying to do. Yes, but no, 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 no. There's, it's a different reason because yours was infected. And, oh, I mean, it's, it's fine now. <sighs> But I will, I will go, I will go to the dentist. Yes, you need to go. To <coughs> what else has been going on? Because I'm sure people don't want to hear about the tooth business. No, then no, then nobody wants to hear about an old toothache. Yes, they probably do. I mean, sure. Don't make your sister fall down here. That's right. I mean, I got it. I'll, to... I'll get it pulled. I'll, I'll ship it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's not gold. It's just that color. <laughs> Oh my word! You mean it's something like um, Shrek? Yeah. Hey, did you? Do you remember that time? I don't remember where we were. Oh, we were in Texas, and we're eating breakfast. And that, at the football game, I told you, I said, "Man, I got a loose tooth." You yeah. remember that? Yeah. And then we went and ate breakfast that morning. I was eating biscuits and freaking gravy, and I felt that tooth get yeah. knocked one way to the other, and it just fell out. Yes. I thought Princess was going to pass out. You know, the dentist, the dentistry, the dental of the tooth really does affect all your health. Does it? Mm hmm It sure does. Yes. So I guess toothless people are the healthiest mofos around, huh? Well, I don't, I don't, I probably, I guess. Hey, speaking of that. Well, then I, I guess I'm going to get healthy. I'm, I'm going to, I'm just going to put this out there. What the, what was that? What? Did you hear that bark? Yeah, Carl. Oh, has good lord. Um, you have, and I know y'all have all seen. I, there's nothing but those women that do not have uh, their teeth in, and then they do their makeup on, and then they put their teeth in on TikTok. That fascinates me. Have you seen that on TikTok? Has anybody else out there seen that on TikTok? I mean, it just fascinates me. And you know how when you go on TikTok, you come in for you know just look at a few videos, and by that time you've watched two hours worth of TikTok. You know what I mean? Have you ever seen those those videos? Oh yeah, I watch them all the time. Uh, makeup videos? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I watch stuff say take his teeth out, put oh, makeup on, brush okay. for every show. That's not what I'm talking about. It's a must. It's in our contract. 
see what I have to deal with, y'all. See what I have to deal with. I'm sure somebody. Watch your business, bro. Hey, sis, you, it could be mistaken as a uh, a gold nugget, a uh, meth oh. rock. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, good he Lord. just says stuff for the value, you know. I, I'm just, just saying. He tries to get me off of my my game, <laughs> you know? and he'll say something just off the wall. No, no, just no, to no. See what I'll do. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Yes, you you say things for the shotgun. Right? As you were saying. saying. Yes, it, on TikTok, you know how you get into the TikTok. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. So I've watched. You know it, you've watched two hours. I've watched you watch these videos, but not with no teeth out. Well, I think it just comes on your mainstream. But those women fascinate me because they, they me too. They do their makeup and they just look completely different. You know, toothless women freak me out, and it's nothing to do with you know. It's just that, I, man, it just creeps me out because I knew somebody that didn't have no teeth one time. And they just, you know, scared the living far out of me when I was little, <laughs> and. Yeah, uh, I, <laughs> no, uh, I had nightmares about that. When being pinched, <laughs> wet yeah. pinches. Hey, I have a trying have to be one, bit. I have one of those old stories that, um, whenever I was a kid, you know, little bitty, three, four, five years old, um, and we just got a McDonald's in our area, and so we went to eat at McDonald's one day, and it was myself and my mom and my aunt and my my granny and we were all sitting there and we got to laughing they were telling stories whatever but we all got to laughing and all of a sudden my granny's teeth fell out onto the mcdonald's table and i just could not believe what i was saying that i mean those adventures just flopped out yeah my grandmother had a some kinfolk that come from california and i was like seven but we was like you know mm -hmm. and uh and she'd tell me to go get something for her, a cup or something, anything, but then she'd stick her teeth out like they would stick <laughs> protrude out of her head. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. And then I had to sleep in the house with that woman. That probably wasn't comfortable for her or something. But. I just knew the teeth was going to come get me. <laughs> Guys, I really did not mean to get off talking about dentures and all this other kind of stuff. I'm so sorry. What is happening with you guys? What do you all have going on? I'm that's true. Yes. I'm reading some of these, these things, these topics. Ooh. You know, that is true. That is true. Um, water sometimes can really smell different. You know what I mean? Like, uh, he was talking about that there's enough fluoride in today's water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agreed with him. I agreed. And that, that is very true that, you know, uh, your tap water versus a uh, filtered water okay it's simply different of course yeah and then if you buy bottled water you know the smart waters and all that that all tastes so different you know smooth or you know kind of chemically tasting <clears throat> so yeah that is true the water does taste that completely sm different that smart water don't work because i've seen upstate chug three bottles <laughs> in a row Nasal. Didn't do. Didn't do no didn't do nothing. no well I like to stick to my Dr. Pepper and, you know, that. I, I need to be drinking more water. You bought that big cup, and it's like, how much is that big cup? Like, that's why. <laughs> it's a full day's 12-hour day of water. Yeah. <clears throat> like I, a half a gallon, something like that. Yeah. But there's time zones on it. Yes. And you're supposed to drink it all day, and then you don't have that much water. I, mean, I, I did that one time. I don't know if I can do that. I mean, that's I haven't. Water. I haven't quit peeing yet. I, I like to stick with the old Dr. Pepper, Mr. Kid, you know. Kidney like stones. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Does anybody else out there have a kidney stone or have had a kidney stone in the last, um, once a year, my kidney stone will, you my know. My goodness, right. Cheryl. Oh, you had to walk to the store. Oh. Hey, check this out, man. I'm going to give you a little tip. That my grandfather told me. He uh, showed me. Hey, hang on before I forget. The cops guy here, he said I stick to H2O and charcoal is the best chemical for your teeth. Yes, we have tried the toothpaste. Um, and actually, my father, he uses the charcoal uh, bar of soap. He uses that, and that really cleanses, get your pores clean and stuff. We've used that, and it does, it does really work. Do you know what a green snake is? 
No, what is it? You know, green snake. Yeah, like Come I, on, you know what a green Remember the thing that fell on us when we was on the four wheeler? Yes, I, but I thought you may have been trying to trick me. So, yes, a little gardener snake. Gardener, green. No, no, there's a gardener snake. They're black with white stripes. Yeah, these are solid green. Mm -hmm. I mean, they look like a fresh vegetable mm -hmm. or something. A green bean, giant green bean. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My grandfather, Cherokee grandfather, he said, it's Cherokee toothbrush and toothpaste and he had a cat uh you know the cattail by mm -hmm. the ponds and stuff those cattail mm -hmm. he had part of that and he had it in his fingers right mm -hmm. and he had he caught a green snake that was crawling through there mm -hmm. and he folded it in half and he rubbed that snake and his snake started just oozing stuff really all over his teeth and he took that thing and brushed his teeth and spit it out and got some water and spit it out he uh, throwed the snake down and thinks, yeah, that's turkey toothbrush. Huh. I don't know if he was just jacking with us, us young pups and like, you know, teaching us some BS. Uh -huh. But I'll, uh -huh. I'll, let me put it this way. You do not want to brush your teeth with a copperhead. Right. It never ends well. Hmm. Um, you know, you were talking about that little snake when we were on several of those several years ago. We, um, the river is, you know, close to us. And so we rode the boiler down there and we were going to the river and there was all these woods and, you know, trees. It was summertime, so it was warm. And we went under one tree and this little bitty, what kind of snake was that little green snake? Is that what you're talking about? That, hello. Mm -hmm. That little green snake that fell on us. Mm -hmm. right, that snake fell right in my face. And I thought I was a goner. I was it, that was such a thought to see because I bet people that were fishing probably thought, what in the world is wrong with that woman? I screamed, which it wasn't very big. It was smaller than a pencil. But remember? Yeah. Those are the ones and you got to worry about. I don't those know. pencils. I took that thing and I flung it. And that, I just thought about that. <clears throat> yeah. Creepy little snake. Creepy little snake. I've been bit, seriously, I've been bit twice by a copperhead, once by a water monster. And that was within like five to ten years of each other. The water monster, I cut it in the, on the lawnmower and it died. I'm scared to death of a snake. And I was pulling scared the crap me. out from around the blades, mm -hmm. you know. And it was about three quarters of or seven inches of the head and the body. And wow. it bit me right on the hand. Okay, hang on. Let's read this one. I can tell you a true story. My buddy, he had he had lost one. Let's see. So he made him one. But I'm got wrong because you're eating some Indian spicy. Great. Food with a dinosaur, huh? And that's something. Ooh, that's really goat good. bone, <laughs> <laughs> goat bone. Ooh, I like it, huh? I would never. I mean, you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Hey, don't you know? sh don't let the cats hear you say that. That's <laughs> like you screaming out, "We're going to get Chinese food." <laughs> that freaks them out. Stop. How much you ever heard that I was saying that there's more than one way to skin a cat? Yeah, it's Confucius. <laughs> These Chinese, I think, are Japan. Chinese. Oh, oh well, okay. Let's get this going. Yeah, that's because they're on the back of all these skinny cats. There's about 15 of them doing it 15 different ways. Trying to get oh, it in that right. walk. How Full of grease. This, how has this talk gone the <clears> wrong <throat> direction? It all went wrong. <laughs> With the toothbrush. You know what I mean? Yeah. With the tooth. My word. People are going to hear this and say, what in the world are they talking about? We're just just chatting, just talking. <laughs> but people are thinking, what in the world? What has happened to these people? You know? Huh. Because <laughs> if we get off that tooth thing, what else have you been up to? What else has been going on? No. Uh, just chilling? <clears throat> well... Spending a lot of dead gun time on Call of Duty, trying to level up before the game changes. You know, sometimes that you know those games they can get to be pretty intense. I mean, it's you know, <laughs> not the not the games I grew up on for sure. No, I, but I think it's out. pretty cool. I, I mean, need, I need to figure out how to stream it through, I, you know, and YouTube eats that crap up. As long as I'm not right. saying F this, F that, and, mm -hmm. you know, nasty, being nasty, mm -hmm. and just try to be informative. And I don't really talk much when I'm playing. You know, I to me, I like to watch you play for, you know, a couple minutes yeah. because 
I don't have that skill at all. What? The to be able to use the remote oh. and get them to like stand up and walk. And no, but you can send two hundred. And- you can send two hundred and fifty minutes uh, words a minute on a text, though. I sure can. <laughs> I sure can. But to play a video game though, oh, yeah. and you've got to you got to make them stand up with this hand and kneel on this hand and. And so I just, I don't have that. Back in the day when I was in, about it. in my 40s, mid-30s, mid-40s, mm-hmm. I used to make uh, pre-teens and 20-somethings cry when they played me. They used to go up and down, I was cheating. Yeah. Well, do you remember that time whenever you got um, the UFC game? Yeah. And I had no earthly clue of what I was doing. You no. just wanted me to play with you so that way you would I, have to, I was using you as a punching bag. Yeah. <laughs> I just took the remote it was an Xbox, wasn't it? I think it was an Xbox. It yeah, an yeah, Xbox. it was Xbox. It was and Xbox. I would just start hitting all the different things and just so my little character was standing up, spinning, kicking, falling, hitting, smacking, whatever. And he would get so mad because he went quit doing that. Quit doing that. But that's all I knew to do. I would just sit there and just push the button and Ladies and gentlemen, I did win the fight, <laughs> didn't I? Do you can go ahead and say it. It's been long enough. <laughs> you can admit that I'm. <laughs> Felix, welcome in. Yeah, um, you knocked me out. Are you? Oh, hang on. Say that again because I didn't hear that. Yes, you knocked me out, and I was. Yeah. What? Did you play anymore? No, no. I wouldn't let you. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah, you know, but you know, he's like, oh man. I would say top eight worldwide. UFC top eight. Mm-hmm. My oldest, my only son. Oh, really? He <laughs> won or he? No, he's in top. He's in huh. the top ten. Yeah, he said the closest he's been to, uh, to one was number two. Is that right? Yep. But do they still make those games or no? Oh yeah. I haven't looked at the video games in a long, but, long time. See, video games has changed since you've been around. Oh, apparently, yeah. You can buy a disc now and pop it in and never have to buy another disc again and play that same game. Millions of people online. I know. I think that's pretty cool, you know, yeah. especially especially like with, you know, I guess when COVID started, that's when this really, oh, yeah. you know, kind of popular. <laughs> I think that's cool, though, that we can get on there. And T-Bird and Red, game. welcome in, man. I'm sorry to meet you. I didn't interrupt you. No, that's okay. I was reading. Oh, I was looking at the. Uh, if you guys uh, hang out, uh, YouTubers, on Rumble here in a little while upstate, and I'll probably finish the hour off with uh, some videos and stuff. Just keep it in mind, man. Some videos, eh? You yeah. want to watch some Faint and Goats or what? Um, actually, no. I want to watch some knockouts. Did you hear that? Did y'all hear this thunder and lightning and bang, bang, bang? Isn't that weird? You know what? I do not like storms. I, I know. I love them. I love them. I know. Them. Um, they're pretty. Okay, so that I was did. one of the things that we did. Because, like I said, I, I don't care for storms. I don't like it. I don't want to. I just don't like it. And whenever I was a kid, we would always go to the cellar. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And, I remember that. Yes. We always went to the cellar. So I remember many a night being in that cellar and my dad walking. We had a, we had a big golden retriever. And whenever I was a kid, we had a big golden retriever. And I always remember my dad picking her up and walking her down the stairs of the cellar to make sure she was safe. Oh, yeah. And um, But up here, I mean, we don't get the, we don't get as, I guess, as much of the storm. Like, you know, what we used to get down there at home. But It just goes around us. Yeah, it's so up here. There's no mm-hmm. mm-hmm. God's country, darling. But I will say that whenever we first got together, you would want to go and sit where you could see the storm yeah, rolling yeah. in. Back in the day, and it was very. It is. Did, I, did I, I took you up there, didn't I? Yes. One yes. time, this is what I used to love to do. I lived on the river, the Arkansas River, and there's a giant high point, which is probably close to a couple thousand foot in the air, and you have a, a, a lookout area. And there's a top on it. It's concrete. Mm-hmm. And I had a couple of lawn chairs. I would sit up there with the ice chair. <laughs> and that we would watch the storm come down yes. the river. Yes, it was pretty. It was oh, beautiful. Oh, man. Yeah, we knew when to leave, didn't we? It was beautiful. You know, because we were so high up. And then to watch that storm and the lightning was beautiful. And 
the way it would just come in. I mean, it was beautiful. I used to do but, that all the time. Not with lawn chairs and stuff. We just set up well, and Well, I was in a in a tornado. I was trying to woo you. Yes, I was in a tornado once. I was a teenager. And really? I went to my friend's house, and we were visiting and that sort of thing. And all of a sudden, her dog started just barking and just pawing at the door. And she's like, what in the world? We had no idea that there was a tornado coming. And she um, she said, let in those dogs. So I went in there and let the dogs in. She had two dogs. She had a bath with him and a, um, oh, my goodness, a, a husky. That's what she had, a husky uh, mix. And so I let the dogs in, and they were just acting so weird. And, you know, we didn't hear anything on the, the news. They didn't break in to the, the local programming, nothing. And um, all of a sudden, we just heard this, this loud train type of noise. And um, she had in the back of the house, they have sliding glass doors. And all of a sudden, that one side of the sliding glass doors, like, come back. Like, it went back into the other door. And wind was, and all I could see was this gray. That's all I could see. And, I I mean, it took everything I had to close that door and lock it. And my friend, she <clears> said, oh, my gosh, we are in a tornado. <clears throat> and how we knew it was is that on their TV, which was one of those old-fashioned TVs, like that was inside the, right, right. the wood box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of those. Console. And she, yes, and she had the antennas up. And there was a trucker that was right in front of her house, because she lived on the highway. There was a trucker that stopped right there in front of her house. And his TV came into the TV. Right, right. And we heard him say, oh, my gosh, that house is engulfed in a tornado. And so my friend, she turned quickly around. She hollered at me. She said, we need to get in the bathroom. And they, the way that their house was set up was the far left was the main bath, was the main bedroom and bathroom and closet. And then in the middle and the front was the living room. And then the back was the kitchen. And then on the right-hand side, there was two bedrooms with a bathroom in the middle. And when we heard that guy say that, we immediately went into the bathroom and we closed the doors. We had the dogs in there. And um, after it was all over with, there was two trees that had knocked down in the back of her house. We could not get in or out of her house. And in the front of the house, another tree fell and completely shut us in. And it was it was crazy. I mean, it was it was scary, very scary because I I'd never been in one, and I'm just thankful <laughs> you know, no damage really besides the trees. I mean, they had a few shingles. And my insurance took care of that, but that was very scary. I've and, seen a couple, but I've I've never been in one. I've never rode one out. Right, and that was scary, and it all happened so fast. It wasn't like drawn <laughs> out. Or anything like that. It was like bam, you're in a tornado. Get get shelter. You did know? you did you feel the negative? Did you feel the negative sucking? I mean, did you feel? Yeah, because whenever I tried to shut the right, door, right, right. It, okay. was, yeah. it was hard to shut. And I was there leaning, trying to get it because all I saw was gray. That's all I saw. Wow. And I, I didn't think it was a tornado. I had no idea. We, you know, nothing was coming. Well, so it was kind of odd. You know, that, now that you now that you mentioned this, listen, uh, you know, my buddy in uh, porn, uh, mm -hmm. his stepson is world champion. Mm -hmm. This or that. Mm -hmm. All right. Me and him was fishing one time, okay, mm -hmm. dirt road fishing. And there was a dirt road. We parked right next off. It was just a dirt road tree line, just a few mm -hmm. trees. Went down the side of there. There was a big pond up there. No, mm -hmm. not huge. I was on one. He was on one end. I was on the other end. And all of a sudden, we hear this noise. Mm -hmm. There's a dust devil. You know, right. you know what that mm -hmm. is? A, yeah. a miniature whatever. Right. It hit the tree line, and every one of those trees just started rattling. And he was looking across at me, and I had my line in the water. Mm -hmm. We just stopped, and it got in the water. It sucked water up in it. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sucked water up in it, and it started sprinkling out. Well, when we got to the edge of the other water, as soon as it was going across the water, the the water on the pond looked like a saw blade. Where it was sucking it, it just you know had this right. weird look to it. When it got to the other side, it, there was a little tree there that had leaves on it. It sucked every one of the leaves off of it. It got into the dirt, turned the mud, and disappeared. It just fell apart. Hmm. Tony, he looked across me and was, man, did you see that? I said, did you feel that wind pulling against us? Mm -hmm. He goes, yeah, and I don't know if we were supposed to see that. We started reeling our lines in. We both had fish on our lines. Wow. 
you know, um, I had a family member. This was back in the like 20s, 30s, <clears throat> way back in that old day. And they lived in Kansas. They lived in um, Wichita. And they would, all the houses were, <coughs> I don't know if there were duplexes on that road. I don't really remember. But I know that their house was a two-story house. And then they had a basement up underneath it. And in Kansas, those tornadoes would come. And they would have to have their cellar set up to, or their, their basement set up just like a living room because they'd have to go down there so far. Yeah. And, you know, they had tornadoes all the time in Kansas. Oh, and yeah. she would talk about as, you know, her being the mother and having ch small children that they would have to go down to the basement and talking about how those tornadoes, they would just come and you could just hear it. And she hated it because she would just have to, you know, hunker down and, you know, ride it out. And they would have at least a couple of tornadoes a month. And it was just scary, you know, to be in that basement. And all the houses there, on that street anyway, had the basements because of those tornadoes. And I thought, oh, my gosh. Wow. I, I don't know if I could handle that because it's pretty scary. I mean, it's intense whenever, you know, a tornado is, is there, you know. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Wait, <laughs> Read in the chat. Maybe I need to read to <clears throat> My goodness. Hey, um, I just wanted to remind you, Queen. Oh, uh, yes, I'm listening. Um, I was reading the chat. We met a gentleman one, one afternoon when we were doing our grocery pickup and, and getting supplies and whatnot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he had a big old, he was checking out behind us in a self-checkout. He's a young guy. Anyway, he was checking stuff out. I noticed he pulled out a great big giant bone, you know, in mm -hmm. the plastic. I thought, man, I wonder what size donkey has to, would take that. That's mm -hmm. too big for Sadie and or Dingo. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're big dogs. He said, oh, well, i got a, a bull mastiff and a wolf mixture. Could you imagine how big that dog would be? Yeah, man. He said Not it's enormous. over six foot tall. When he, he said it's taller than him when it's on his back leg. Wow. And uh, he was taller than me. Which she ain't saying much. But anyway, he's the gold drawer. Wouldn't that be neat? Yeah. That be they, you know, whenever you see these gold shells on TV in Alaska, whenever they go out and they, they first find property, and to see if there's any gold or how much gold is there, they'll see a drill guy to go in and do core drills. Mm -hmm. That's what he does. Oh, is that right? Yeah. He said, that's all I do is run a drill. He said, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Now, I, think, um, I have two things to say so y'all hold on to that thought uh, I, I want to ask you real quick before I forget um, Cheryl's talking about a main food pad do you remember and we'll woman. get back to the drilling thing here in a minute do you remember hey uh, stop we, reading the chat I'm going to tell you something Okay. listen here Okay. Hey, so uh, yes. remember that day that we went and we went walking in the park and we were just doing our daily exercise. And the woman, I don't know if they were camping down there or if they lived in, in I, I don't know for sure why they we were down there. But we saw this woman, I mean, we're walking laps because we were walking, trying to get healthy. You know, you know the drill. And we was walking. And this woman and man were sitting at the, they were originally sitting at the picnic table. And they, I noticed that they had, something on a leash yeah and i thought oh the other pig walking their dog but that you know that and it was laying there not doing <laughs> nothing it was just being calm collected <laughs> until that lady started speaking <laughs> lady she come over to us and that we were they were asking us something and i don't remember what that something was oh, something for, where's the best place to eat or something yeah there. it was something like along the lines and this woman had a cat just a regular low tabby house cat she had, <laughs> she had a, a a leash on it, one of those a it, harness. A harness. She had a harness on it. And this cat and was flipping, doing starfishes, <laughs> jumping up the fence, flipping her arm, backwards. Her arm was just a flinging to and from and back. Yeah, it was and funny as all get up. <laughs> and she was just talking. Just kept on talking. I mean, her arm is just a giving it back. And that cat flipping and laying on the ground and running up the out. Uh, uh, maybe that's how it got its exercise. <laughs> I don't know, but that was, was like, weird. That was hilarious. Because I thought, number one, why do you have it on leash? Which mm. I'm sure that people who live in apartments, they do put their, or like in the big cities, they'll put their cat on a harness to walk it. I'm sure. 
I'm sure they think. Easy Not now. We're going to run into the Chinese food places again. I'm talking about big city cat. <laughs> that was just so funny about that cat. I wonder how that cat is these days. I don't know. Because that's been probably 10. 10 it ain't with us no more. Ago. With that much energy, it died 10 years later. Oh you gosh, know, that years. was that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that was, and that woman just weird. kept on flipping, and I just kept on watching that cat, and I thought, doesn't she need to take this cat somewhere and get it settled down? But anyways, so no, about that whole Alaska, you were talking about that gentleman that was uh, mining in Alaska. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could do that. What? Well, well, those shows. What is it? Gold Rush mm -hmm. and all of those kind of shows. Mm -hmm. Man, they live in that camper trailer and. I mean, they're out in the middle of nowhere. It's not like they I can just it. run down to Wally World yeah. and, you know, or the dollar stove. They get what they need. <laughs> there's I mean, no dollar stove. There's no dollar stove. And then mm -hmm. if they don't get out of there by a certain time, then they might get snowed in. Can, could you imagine? Oh, no, 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 well, no, 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 no. I'd be leaving out like uh, late July. You'd have to be living out in plenty of time that you don't get stuck. Because, yeah. you know, there's grizzly bears, there's mm. moose, elk. What? Moose? Whatever. They have all of that stuff. Oh so, you know, you're out there trying to, to find the gold, and here comes a bear. I don't know. I don't, which I'm sure they don't show that on the Hey, we got bear now, apparently. We got signs saying there's a bear crossing on I-40. Well, that's true. I ain't never seen one. What would you do? I mean, seriously, like if you really saw a bear, uh -huh. what would you do? It depends on if it's a male or female. I think I don't know. I don't know what I would do if I saw a bear. I probably, I probably just freeze. If it's a male, I'll fight it. And if it's a female, don't could look. Could don't, imagine, look. don't look. Could y'all imagine finding that, seeing a bear, and then that? Because then things, you know, they're they're aggressive, especially if they have cubs. They oh no no! I ain't jacking with nothing with cubs. No, <laughs> Yo, you're talking about a whole different category now. You, yeah, you <laughs> wouldn't survive. No, would not no, survive. No, and I mean even on those those gold shows that comes on, you know sometimes you see the bear that's down in the down the river picking a fish, you know to to eat while they're gold mining. I don't know, but could you imagine? <laughs> I freeze right then and there. I probably wouldn't even know what to do. I would just, I just freeze, you know. What would so? Well, I, you know, uh, those guys that like to get that gold out of the creek, mm -hmm. right? That, oh, you know, underwater be, stuff. Oh, they do crazy stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, you would be hardcore. I don't like to be underwater. Period. And what was that show that? Um, it was the dad and the son, but the Same dad one. had. The dad, what was that one? The dad had a separate rig going, yeah, and then the son had something else going with his, yeah, yeah and yeah. then they would try to come back together and compare. Water gold, baby. Is that what it was? Yeah. Man, they would live, they would move out on tree limbs that they thought, oh, that'll hold us. Yeah. No worry, we'll just go right out there and dangle over the river. It's all good. Hey, man, as you're passing that tree limb, throw this hook over. Yeah, yeah. No, <clears> I. That's not for me. <laughs> I mean, it would be beautiful to visit, but to live in a camper, that would take dedication. <laughs> and and dedication. And that's not the dedication hey, that I have. That Alaska be, is a uh, legal state. I think it's beautiful. I love to see the pictures. And I, we, I've had some friends that has went to Alaska for weddings and things of that nature. And I think it's beautiful. I would love to see the scenery. But the first time... <laughs> That we saw the wildlife and it was coming after us. I would have to bail. I would have to bail. What do you think? I would too. I would too as well. Because yeah, you didn't shoot on to shoot nothing. No, because, not, you, not, you know, not even not even that. Because just you know you might wound it. And yes. Man, then yes. you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I do know. You're gonna get it by bar. <laughs> Oh, well, we, you know, we've got those wild hogs around here. Hey. You never let's know. not talk about bikers. You know, you never know what you're going to run into. Don't be talking about, about bikers. Oh, heavens. Okay. Heavens. Let's look at this chat and see what else. <laughs> Upstate. Oh, okay. He's, yeah, he's there. He's there. He's there. Uh, Queen. It was. You know, it was good to talk to you. It was good. we thought, got we got off track. 
But that's I, don't, right. I know, but how do you like this setup? Is this better for you? More comfortable? Yes, I think it's a little bit better. All right, because see, I can slide this all the way over and I can sit right there too. I'm thinking about moving that over here. The comfy, the comfiness, mm -hmm. yeah. And getting rid of this. Or is it, so I got to save this for my steering wheel. Gotcha. Hey, everybody, I appreciate you coming in and listening to me, <coughs> listening to us uh, talk back and forth. Yes. Just shoot the bull, nothing. Nothing big. With the thunder. Just chattering. The Oklahoma thunder in the background. Hey. That was pretty intense. I like to go in and look at the radar. But th I just said the Oklahoma thunder, the basketball team. Oh, that's why they call the Oklahoma thunder. They just roll in every once in a while. They win every great <laughs> once in a while. Oh, don't say that. That's they a good trade. Thing. They trade like the storms come in. Oh, okay. There we go. Hey, they're a pretty good I team. I ain't no basketball player anyway. No. You know, we don't even watch March Madness. We don't want no. anything. We don't do it. Uh -huh. Just football. Nope. Football is our thing. That's we don't. It. I don't even watch baseball anymore. Yeah, you know that whole baseball. It. I mean, you have to really have a love for it. I think it. You know, there's a lot of people that do that. <laughs> I, I like the old football. You know. Well, we do have a cousin. I have a cousin, Big Ben, mm -hmm. which has got a couple prospects. On them, I should be working with him. You know, I do like to watch the kids still play. I like to see them succeed. I like to see them, you know, master something and you know have a good time at it and really sharpen their skills. I love to watch the kiddos. I may go to a ball game tomorrow. I think wherever's got a game tomorrow, it's supposed to have had it today. It no, rained. Oh no, golly, it rained, and they got a brand new stadium. I heard that. The thing um, is, so um, I'm gonna buy me a hot dog. Sit up there and see if, what you know if big men would throw some heat. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that they <clears throat> leave and stuff. And like I said, I for you know I'm gonna cheer for anybody's kid, anybody's kid. Yeah. I love to see it when these kids find something that they love. They try to do the best at it, and they succeed, and they move on with it. I love to watch the kiddos play. You know, just like with our with our little girl, I love that she is. Um, really finding a new love for playing the guitar. And she's been in there just, you know, picking and, you know, trying out new songs. She you doesn't know, know that I'm listening, but I'm I'm standing outside the door listening. And you, she's really doing well. She you loves tell you it. what she's doing. What? Something that she told me she couldn't do. I, I never say there's anything she can't do. No, but secretly. Now, look, I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. okay, so, and she thinks that if she gets uh, in a band mm -hmm. that would just don't like it, her, I heard her friend, she takes you, so that one of her friends is taking lessons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a couple of them. Yeah, there. they're fixing to get something started. And I think that that's cool. You know, you you find your niche in life. Yeah. You get but I don't want to think that that's an easy way to make money because I did it for 20-something years. No, but they're just having fun with and it. And I still yeah. owe people. You know, they're just having fun with it. They're just, you know, but I, I love to see it, no matter what it is. Like I said, with the whole guitar business, yeah. you know, she doesn't know, what we're doing, but I'll stand there at her door and oh, I'll yeah. listen to her. And You see that vent right there mm -hmm. in my office? Mm -hmm. Every time she talks or plays or talking to her friends and everything, I have to shut that mm -hmm. because I can hear it. Yes. I just, I love it that she's, you know, fun, something that she likes. And of course, you know, with her art, she's a wonderful, wonderful artist. Oh my Drawing God. anything, you know, it's just amazing when they when they find their skill and they can hone in on it and learn every day at it and learn to do something a little bit more than what you did the day before. I think that's awesome. I think it's it's great, and I love to cheer on these kids. And it doesn't matter whose kid it is. I love to see them succeed because as they grow, they can use that skill later on in life. Or they can, you know, move in and, you know, be on the basketball team or be on the, you know, college team, you know. I think that's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. So hopefully, you know, we will continue to see her blossom and, you know, learn more and more and get in there. And who knows? We may have a garage band. Y'all never know. <laughs> With the 80-year-old singer. Well, <laughs> no, no, who they no, no. who they think of, you know, someone to play the drums or whatever, yeah. you know, I, I just think it's, you know, and just to get together and just let them play, I think it's great. 
You know, it gives us something to do. Yeah. So it gives yeah, us hey, something positive. It to do. really, it, believe it or not, man, if you have any aggression or anger, usually after a really good practice, it's gone. Well, and and giving them something to do like that, where they they're not out getting in trouble, and they're not out having, you know, we're gonna any have, type of issues. We're going to have to build a studio on. Probably. But, you know, giving these kids an outlet <coughs> to be able to be together, have fun, and not not dwell on the negative or, you know, not get in trouble for something that, you know, could have been prevented. I think that's awesome to have something like that to to sink their teeth into <laughs> and to grow and prosper. You know what I mean? I like that. I think it's I think it's great. And you know, just like with this complaint of the guitar, when she first started taking lessons, I was like, hmm, how because I think didn't we start her with lessons right around when COVID started? Mm -hmm. I think she may have had probably two or three mm -hmm. uh, lessons before COVID hit. And then once COVID came in, she had to go into like a Zoom meeting where they would do it over the, the right. phone. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. And um, she had a wonderful teacher. You know, he was, <clears throat> he was a, he could do everything. He could play every instrument, but with the guitar was his favorite. So he had a passion for it. And um, he gave her a passion for it because he broke it down to where it was easy to learn. It was easy to, you know, know where your fingers went. He worked with it. It was a good experience. Do you know? She, do you, do you understand that our our daughter can read music? Yeah, I cannot. I mean, I came a little bit because we had to have it. We have to have it in um, high school. So they gave us the bare. You know, just just this was this was how you do it, but it wasn't broken down. It wasn't um, it wasn't explained to the point where you know that you knew that you knew that you knew. It was just kind of a this was the, just the basics of it. Where she has since she went to guitar lessons and she worked with her her, <coughs> she can break it down and know. Besides, see, I don't even have enough knowledge of it. But she can read it. She knows how she can, you know, tune her guitar. Even the other night, whenever you couldn't get this one to tune, she come in here and said, let me have it. She goes, oh, she my God, it. Dad. Yeah, she tuned it with, like, in seconds. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, that's what a good teacher does. You know, take what, take what they've taught you and build on it and grow. You've got a good foundation. Just even with the baseball, you've got that great foundation that's built that you can grow grow around yeah. and grow up. oh i'll tell you what the band bandino bandino Bambino. oh my gosh i love that it's where the three-year-olds and the four-year-olds are entered in to t-ball and they are the cutest hot mess express but they are absolutely adorable and i love it when those kiddos get out there and they just they give it their all and they're just as cute as they can be, just doing whatever. You know? yeah, yeah. Some of us picking flowers. Some of us playing in the dirt. Some of them are oh over there singing. God. Yeah, I had to co I've coached them. I've coached them. Remember when our daughter used to say, I mean, she could have cared less about playing t-ball. She was looking at the birds. She was looking at the sky. She Man, was dancing. She was probably seven. Eight years old. But you know what? That that was the best. That was oh. a good memory. We've got a ton of pictures and videos from her doing that. I oh. mean, just adorable. When she was seven, eight years old, we were going to the ball field. <laughs> we were sitting there, and she was, Dad, I don't want to play ball today. I said, yeah, you do. We're here. She <laughs> said, I don't feel good. I, I had to do this at school. I had to do that at school. I said, hey, I don't know excuses. She said, can I have a drink of your Red Bull? And I went. <laughs> Why not? Boy, she took about a swig of it. About a few minutes later, we're waiting on people to show up. She was, you never know the drink of that? And I did. Next thing I know, she had foam coming out of the bottom of the corner of her mouth. <laughs> Sound like an auctioneer, and it started raining. I know. That was a sad day. Let me tell you. It was so funny because, boy, she was ready. And I was like, I can't believe you let her have a sip of that Red Bull. That was it. <laughs> I would never again. Never again. <laughs> she just, So we waited the rain out. And we stay in the dugout until it stopped raining. <laughs> and then the kids got to play. Yeah. And it was the funniest thing because it was muddy 
Oh, it was funny. But you know what? I mean, it was warm, so it wasn't cold or anything. So we just, we went ahead and let them play. And that was the absolute best game. They were muddy. They were wet. But uh, they had the play. best time playing ball. You would see a slide start about <laughs> two feet off of first base and then wall. And, and those were the boys. They were like, I want to slide. I want to slide. I was like, hey. Slide. You, you just slide on, my friend. And, boy, they had the best time, yeah. you know, just having fun. You know, it, it wasn't that serious. I mean, you know, the little kids, they're not going to be picked up by a professional this year. Let them have fun. <laughs> yeah. that game, they yeah. had fun. Yeah. And I believe, mm. wasn't that the same year that um, we had that big party at the at the swimming pool and they, they had cupcakes. We bought pizza. Oh, yeah. They had, yeah. Um, they had little juice uh, cups. Juicy they had, juice. Yeah, remember that? Oh, they, yeah. And then they swam. But, you know, that that particular year, those kids really formed a good friendship. Well, like, you know, it the, didn't matter. Out of those kids, one of them is going to be a, mm -hmm. a pro. Mm -hmm. he, played, yeah. uh, he played in the World Series last yeah. year. Yeah, and those those kids coached. In, in that season, they <laughs> built a bond that is still, they still thought. Yeah. They still remember. Yeah. They still I've talk that, to each other. Well, you know that little redheaded kid that uh, works at the grocery store? Mm -hmm. The one that I coach? Mm -hmm. I said, well, we're all sitting around talking with that. I said, you know who I am? He said, I think you coached me, didn't you? I said, yeah, I did. <laughs> but, he you said, know, those, those kids, they really, you know, they had a good time that year. Yeah. It wasn't so much about win, win, win. We didn't push the win, win, win. We wanted them to win, but it was more about your dedication, how the basics on how to play ball. Yeah. It wasn't, you know, it was strategy. <clears throat> but we didn't put the stress on enough. You have to win. You have to win. It wasn't about that. It was about learning to be a team together. Actually, baseball can be summed in one thing. What? Hit it where they're not and run, run, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. be cautious on base. If we had to do that season over again, the one we're talking about, I would do things just like it was. Oh, it those kids, nothing. No. The, and, you know, we had those same children. And the, I think we done it for three years. Well, see, what got me into it the first time was these guys were coaching. Mm -hmm, and they didn't know. And, and they wasn't there. And they said, hey, man, we coach a team. These children hadn't won a game yet. Right. But, you know. And they won when I coached. Right. And I went, oh, I got the fever. Yes. But what was so cool about that, though, is that they built that bond. They knew what child could do what. Yeah. And they, they synchronized. And you know, with I didn't put coaching. Bobby on first base because Bobby's daddy worked at the bank, in other words. Right. You it was all about <laughs> them using their talents for whatever position that they were in. Yeah. They used those strengths yeah. and they built that bond because they knew how each other played. So they knew how to get the outs or get the bats or whatever. Whatever the technical terms are, uh -oh. but I just thought that was I thought that was such a good year, <laughs> such a great year. And then the the ones leading up to it, it was we had those kids had fun. They had a lot of fun, and I'm glad that we were able to do what we done those years. Oh yeah, I had fun with those kids. Well, and we still have the they pictures, they you know. come up with some of the craziest crap. Yeah. You no, know. yes. Why you like Bob? Uh, well, mom, dad was fighting, and uh, oh, never mind, man. Get your glove and get out there. <laughs> I don't want to hear about that. And those bats, oh my goodness, that was remember that. I'll tell this one last thing, and then I'll be done. Do you remember the bats? This is the thing with bats. There was, um, and I don't remember who had that or what, how it got there, or who got there. I don't remember that, but I just remember there was one certain bat that all the kids loved to use. Oh, because, yeah, yeah, and yeah. This one afternoon, this one evening, we went to go play a game, and nobody had the bat. Yeah. We did not know where the bat was. I didn't know which bat was the bat. Yes, and we went through all those bags looking for this bat because these kids said, hey, this bat is making me lucky, coach. It I, 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 I know, bat. I know, I know. I had a lucky bat, too. Yes, and so that one game, we were like, oh, 
my gosh. And me being one of the dugout moms, I tried to get a bat that looked like it. <laughs> and put it up there to be like, oh, this is the bat. Uh-huh, this one right here is this the bat. One, this is the one. No, and those kids were like, mm -mm, that's so, not the bat. That's not the bat at all. Was it that beat up old yes. Yankees bat that yes. I had in the car yes. that had a dent in it? I guess it was. I mean, <laughs> Good Lord. But let me I remember you, that. And they, those little kids would be like, I can hit something with this ball. And you know, when they had that bat and they walked out there on that field, they had yeah. confidence That's weird. and they knew that with that bat, they could do anything they wanted. Yeah. And, and it's like somebody hit it uh, like it was a very small New York Yankees dirt juice, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, aluminum bat, small, and some idiot hit it with a golf ball yes with it and then i bought it at a, a thrift store to throw in the car to beat yes. people's ass with <laughs> that's what made that's why i bought it and one of those kids grabbed it yes that was the bat the and bat. you know that bat is in there in that um closet to oh, this day. <laughs> yes well i and i believe a short stack could use it yes and i believe oh and that was also the same year um and this was cool one of the years that we had um coach then we had a big party afterwards at a local um, uh, water park. And so we got our own cabana and everything. It was a great year. Oh, and um, awesome. all the kids, because we knew that we weren't going to be coaching the next year because um, they were moving up a level and we were not at that level. So yeah. they went ahead and, and we got them into better teams. And um, we, they got this baseball. And they wanted everybody to sign this ball. And um, in their little bitty handwriting, um, these kids made this baseball. Yeah. And it was absolutely the best. We still have it. Um, and these kids, they come back to us and say, hey, we still have that ball. Yeah, I see. And that's the ones I'm talking about. Yeah. The, he will, he'll be a pro. One yeah, because yeah, he went to the, the World Series for yeah. his age bracket. And I think he's looking maybe at OSU she play ball too. But. That's awesome. That is awesome. I'm, I'm glad that we got to be a part of their lives yeah. for that short time. I know that that sounds all pootsy bootsy on the off end, but I'm glad that we were able to have a positive effect on those children to be able to set them up for success later on. You know what I mean? Yes. And even if they don't play later on, I'm glad that we were able to have fun and be a team and be together as a big baseball family or t-ball family yeah i'm glad that we were able to do that that was awesome have i talked enough have i over talked no no but everyone on youtube you guys man thank you for coming into queen and i i hope you enjoyed it hit that thumbs up please and sub um uh, much love appreciate it how hey, you guys that are on youtube we're me and upstate's going to bounce over to rumble. He should have already dropped the, uh, the uh, link in the chat. There it is right there. Look at he's on there. Oh no, that's queen and I upstate drop our link. Everyone. Thank you so much for coming to queen. Thanks for coming and hanging out and talking with us. I, I appreciate it. I know we kind of got off kilter there for a little bit with the, with the whole teeth discussion. Well, but, the, at least we wasn't talking about, you know, bungholes and, I mean, but hey, y'all know I can talk. That's coming up next if you guys want to hear stories about bungholes and eyelashes. Yeah. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> All right, that. guys. Thank y'all. Thank you very much. We'll see you over on YouTube. Oh, I'm not going to. There we go.